It's time to sing some melodies. It's time to sing some melodies. Yeah. This week's singing includes three things from the Karpinski Manual, 1160, 1166, and 1188, and then um, two pieces from outside of the manual. Take the A-Train by Ellington and Strayhorn, and then Maria from West Side Story, which is uh, music by Bernstein and words by, um, by Sondheim. Now, what I'd like to do is take you through um, 1160, first by letting you sing through it with an accompaniment. So here is um, E major. And um, I'm just going to give you a harmonic basis to this so that you can sing along with some kind of um, with some kind of backup for this for this example. So one and two. And. Good. Now I'll do it with um, playing the melody. So if you want to check yourself, uh, we'll have an accompaniment and a melody. If you want to just try it without, then mutiny, and then you can go back to this point in the video and um, sing along with me playing the melody. One and two and. <laughs> Don't be jealous. We'll do the same thing for um, for this. So uh, we'll be in um, this key, which is not the key written, but we'll be in this key. So somewhat, somewhat slow. One and two and. I'll play it through now with the with the melody. Um, you can mute yourself and try it on your own, or um, sing along with the melody. One and two and. I want you to note the spelling on the um, B sharp in the second measure, and that is going to indicate what um, solfege you're going to give to it. I think it's a little ambiguous because it's going from C down to B natural, and I was talking about what anchoring tones uh, these would be, and it's like a little ambiguous in this. Now Schumann is Clara is Schumann is showing us what she wants. Of us to think about that as functioning as, and that B sharp is going to tell us how that's functioning. It's going to be looking up towards the the C sharp, in other words, more than it's looking down towards the B natural. Finally, uh, try this one. The last one was in F sharp, and uh, I didn't play it in F sharp, but F sharp would be this. Uh... You should challenge yourself to get two. Uh, to the key that we are in, using this sharp, this F sharp, as um, a way to get to the key that we're looking at here. This is the score to A train, or the um, the melody to A train that I'd like you to sing. So you're just doing this first little part of it. Use the accidentals to as a clue to what solfege you should sing. Uh, although they all basically act the way that they that they should. Here. And so also thinking about what tones they're anchored to will also get you to the same, the same conclusion. You should feel free to listen to recordings of this to help out your ear with this, and also feel free to listen to recordings of the Bernstein Sondheim Maria, which is here. Um, most of this is pretty self-explanatory in terms of um, solfege. 
The one weird one is that the C sharp in the fourth full measure doesn't act like um, a C sharp necessarily should act, but still use the same solfeggios you've been using for other C sharps there. Um, otherwise, the rhythm is a little bit of a challenge, so pay particular attention to that. I know you've worked on triplets before, so it sh you should be experts. Uh, have a good time with this. This is a beautiful piece of music, um, and sing it in whatever key fits your voice the best. Sing it on solfege in whatever key suits your voice the best. You're such a good singer! Thank you. That means a lot coming from you.